Hey guys, it's Tarot and Beyond. In today's Pick a Card reading, we are looking at what you're going to be celebrating very, very soon. So we have the three options that you see here in front of you. Group number one is the game pieces, multicolored game pieces. Group number two is the red bridge. And group number three is the barrel. Select whichever card or cards feel like they are calling to you. If you feel called to more than one or maybe even all of them, that's totally fine. Just use the timestamps below to jump ahead to your chosen reading or readings. Take the messages from within those readings that feel like they are for you and leave the rest as they are most likely for someone else. And we'll see you in your readings. All right. Hi, group number one. Welcome to reading. You chose the game pieces. So let's find out what it is you're going to be celebrating, maybe even when this is going to be happening. But this the game pieces card, which is from my new deck, the Synchronicities Oracle, available for pre-order now, um, is really all about like playing the game and, and having a community through which you can you can interact with people. It's not about playing a game or playing games with people. It's more like having fun, friendly competition, engagement, interacting with people. So I'm seeing that you may be celebrating something with a group of people at some point in the near future. Again, we're going to try and get information on that. You have the red hat, the red ball cap. Oh, look at that. This one card. I, I am going to use this deck after, but it somehow snuck into this one. The Emperor. Okay. Aries energy. Aries season could have been significant or someone who has Aries energy heavily in their chart. Maybe you do. Maybe this is somebody else in your group. Um, Aries personally makes me think about the 11th house because that's where I have it placed in my natal chart. And the 11th house is to do with networks, community, connection, like your group of friends, family, organizations that you belong to. It's like you you wear this hat or this cap that allows you to align to a certain group of people. And I'm seeing you being less of a stranger in that arena is, is kind of what I'm getting. Because sometimes the red hat to me speaks about like a, a stranger or somebody who's trying to remain anonymous. I feel like you'll be celebrating inclusion is kind of the sense that I'm getting inclusion into something or maybe even leadership in a particular arena or group of people. All right, you have the glasses. Somebody could wear glasses. I randomly just got that message. If you wear glasses, this could be confirmation for you specifically and we have the hourglass so especially when we're talking about timing the hourglass can say that it's happening slowly or that it seems like it's happening slowly but when I think about like those short little hourglasses, you know, the ones that come with like boggle boards and, and other board games, they actually move pretty quickly. And I think it's what, like 60 seconds or maybe two minutes or something like that. So I, I'm actually getting that this is going to be happening quite quickly and it could be happening faster than you think is actually what I'm getting. It's going to happen faster than you think where you're in a leadership position in a group of people or you are called to the forefront of a group of people like maybe you're being celebrated for an achievement award or maybe you're being celebrated because you're presenting something that you've you've developed or designed or learned about intellectually maybe you are um being celebrated for a birthday like i'm just seeing somebody kind of being put on stage now this may be metaphor this may be symbolic of something that's going on but it could be literal too you never know you never know with spirit, but it's going to make you happy. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm really feeling. Group number one is that this is going to make you happy. And the reason being is because it's like you get to show your true self. They actually just showed me Clark Kent taking off his glasses. It's like his disguise. The, the hat can talk about disguise. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I feel like this is you kind of standing out in some way stepping into a powerful position or being seen as a powerful figure. Like when Clark Kent takes off those glasses and he rips open his shirt and reveals the S underneath, you know that this is like a completely different person, even though it's the same person. But it's like there's an alter ego, perhaps a more authentic or empowered expression of yourself that, that's coming out or people are seeing and valuing within you. I'm seeing that you're being celebrated for the happiness that you bring to people and they want to bring that back to you, group number one. 
I'm actually seeing somebody offering you something. Maybe this is a birthday. Maybe this is something to do with some kind of a party because I'm seeing somebody giving you something. We have the windmill. Okay. And the DNA spiral. This could be with family or it could be that you're connecting with soul family. And I do feel that you're a very hard worker, group number one. Like the windmill is making me think of grist for the mill. So I feel like you've kind of, you you work really hard. And again, they keep showing me Clark Kent in my mind, Superman. And so I feel like you are a Superman or you're Superwoman. You know, you go above and beyond for everyone else. Maybe you're like super mom or super dad, or you're just somebody who really cares for other people. I feel like you have like a, either you have a big family or you're very connected to this tribe of people. Maybe it's your soul family. It's, it, there's just something here about community and you being very community oriented and a leader in that community or a caregiver in that community or even a protector because Superman makes me think of protection as well. And it's like you've been through a lot and you, you do the work and you put in the work and um, there's something here that's kind of coming back around. I'm seeing that with the spiral and the windmill and the spiral in the DNA. It's like something's coming back around me. This is karma, like good karma in regard to you making other people happy and then now it's your turn and people are going to come out and, you know, want to celebrate you in some way. Look at that. You, <laughs> We're literally doing a celebration reading and you get the party time face. This is so perfect. This is so perfect, group number one. This is what I mean. It's like you're, maybe you're taking off the glasses, like taking off the work persona and putting on your party face. Or it's just like a different alter ego version of you. And maybe dressing differently has something to do with this. Maybe you normally wear business attire or maybe you dress really casually and this is going to require you or, yeah, it's going to require you to dress up in some way and feel confident in how you look. I'm getting that. Yeah, I'm getting that strongly. Like how you look correlates to how you feel and it doesn't have to be about the superficiality of it it's kind of like a symbolic gesture it's a that's that's why superheroes wear costumes right like that's why they they don't just go fighting crime wearing a, a t-shirt and jeans like maybe some of them do i don't know but it's it's um it's a symbolic thing and it's representative of this other aspect of your personality and it doesn't have to be an alter ego that's like developed to be a certain aspect of you. It's like, no, 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 this is a part of you that already exists and is requiring expression in some way. And I'm seeing you you doing that and being celebrated for that or people bringing that out of you perhaps or this situation bringing that out of you. You have the ball of yarn, the red thread. I do feel like there's something to do with your family here, group number one. So like maybe your family is throwing a surprise party for you, or the, there's a continuation of your family line, or the, like I said, soul family. I'm getting soul family quite strongly for a lot of you. And I'm seeing that there may be games that you're playing with your soul family in a fun way, because they're showing me in, in the emperor's hand I know that's a gold ball that represents his status or like his kingship. What are they, they? They usually give those when they're doing like a coronation or something like that. But it looked for a moment like a tennis ball. So I feel like you guys are going to be having this almost like repartee or back and forth. It's like a fun, lively game. It's sportsmanship or sportsmanly. There's connection and it's like a bonding experience is kind of what it feels like for me. So if this is a party, it's like you're playing beer pong with people and you're bonding over the experience. If this is um, some kind of a celebration, it's like you're getting together with people, you're connecting and you are getting to know one another or deepening your connection with these people through games in some way, like a family game night or, you know, it, that's kind of what I'm seeing is something about fun and games and your family line, whether it's your soul family or your physical family. Yeah. We have Ganesh. Okay. So removing of obstacles. If there have been obstacles that were in the way, I'm seeing those being removed and you being very happy about that. Or maybe you're being celebrated for the removal of some kind of obstacle in your life. You have the shoelaces on the bottom of the deck. 
I'm hearing lace up. Okay. So this may be something that requires you to, like I said, like dress up in a certain way or to get moving quickly, perhaps as well. But yeah, I feel like there was some obstacles that you were able to kind of transmute or transform into some, some form of empowerment for yourself. And I think for a lot of you in group number one, you're going to be experiencing sort of like the karmic payoff of that. You're being celebrated for that, or you're experiencing something good that's coming from that strength. Yeah, that's what I was feeling like you've, you've transmuted a lot. You've turned that grist in the mill into something good. It's it's like you you took hard experiences and you alchemized them and you removed those blocks. Maybe you did it through positivity. You know, even if this isn't a physical celebration, this could just be a, a transformation of yourself. This could be you feeling more confident, you stepping into your own internal leadership and trusting yourself because you are strong. And again, references to Superman and his strength. He's like the strongest one. He's got all these superpowers. So it's, and, oh, and it could be starseed energy too, because he's not from earth. Like he didn't, he come, he came from Krypton. So there's something here about reconnecting to your soul family, reconnecting or activating things within your DNA, perhaps as well, that make you stronger. You could be celebrating a health win as well. Maybe you're recovering. I just heard Picos for somebody out here. You could be, have been dealing with polycystic ovarian syndrome, chronic fatigue, um, other physical symptoms like that. And there's a recovery of that. And there's some kind of a celebration. Something to do with the mother's line is important too. So your mother could be involved in this or you could be being celebrated for being a mother. Oh yeah, Mother's Day is coming up at the time that I'm filming this. That's in May. Or something to do with the mother. Rebirth. Yeah, birth makes me think of mother as well, but rebirth. And look, you've got the DNA spirals in this one too. What are the odds? <laughs> Spirit communicates through repetition of symbols. So you've got something to do with the DNA here. And that's why I was getting a lot to do with the mother. They were showing me the womb here in this card. Yeah, something about maybe you're giving birth and you're being celebrated for that. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, maybe your mother is celebrating some kind of healing. Or you're removing blocks in the matrilineal DNA line that allow you to step in to more of your authentic nature, more of your personal power, more of your remembrance of who you are at a soul level. It's like reintegration of these aspects of the soul blueprint. And that puts you back into confidence and personal power, happiness. The, the, the hourglass can make me think of past lives as well, because it's like an old way of measuring time. So this is all, you know, I, I think there's there's physical aspects, 3D aspects to this, but there's also a, a huge 5D, 7D energy that I'm picking up on where you guys in group number one, yes, you're going to be experiencing the physical aspects of this celebration. Like you're going to be having fun. You're going to be really getting to revel and have a moment to express this more jovial <laughs> side of you and connect with people. But I'm also seeing that there's some kind of a celebration at soul level. Your spirit guides actually just came in and told me, yes, you're celebrating this win for yourself because you're reclaiming a part of you. You're healing a major part of you where there were some obstacles or some blockages to your happiness. You're tracing back the thread. You're karmically clearing something out because you're seeing it clearly. It's no longer hidden in the DNA. It's being brought out into the light. And it's something to do with your soul ancestry, your karmic lineage. Yeah. And it's like, you're turning it into, yeah, I just see a lot of alchemy for you guys. Alchemy. We have sensuality could have something to do with the sacral chakra as well, or the root chakra, since we've got this red yarn here. Mandrake, mandrake, ayahuasca, motherwort. These could be significant energy signatures. You want to look into the spiritual meaning of those, perhaps, if you feel called to share that in the comments below. Like if you Google it and get some info on that. The glass is here. It's like learning, sharing what you know, speaking, sharing it in a community. So that could be part of this as well. But I'm seeing the mandrake here kind of talking about maturation. I'm thinking of like the mandrake plants in Harry Potter and how um, they start out as children and then they have to mature and they have to go through like youth. So this could even be a literal birthday. 
because that's like your DNA maturing, you know, <laughs> it's like your physical self is maturing. But it could, it could be a symbolic birthday. I'll, I'll get those two cards as well. Yeah, like a symbolic birthday, you're being reborn at soul level. Nurture, I had a feeling something to do, something very important here to do with the mother. The mother's line, you being a mother or mothering yourself, something about connection to the matrilineal. A lot to do with nurturing and taking care. I feel like you are a very nurturing person, group number one. If you were drawn to this group, you probably have a tendency to want to care for others in one way, shape, or form. Whatever it is that you're skilled at, that you have talents in, that you feel called to do, I feel a lot of compassion. I feel a lot of self-awareness. I feel a lot of desire to care for another person, whether it's one person or many. Lemon balm is very soothing as well. I love lemon balm tea, you guys. Like, it's so good. And it's it's very calming. It, it kind of like calms down your body. So I'm seeing you being able to nurture and care for your body, calming that down and connecting to your sensuality. This could be part of the rebirth. Metamorphosis. Again, we have the womb. Yeah, there's something here about healing the womb or this shift or change in your DNA or expression. I also just got a message of somebody removing blocks in the womb. So maybe there were, this is so interesting and, and very specific. Only take it if it resonates, but I heard endometriosis. I was talking about PCOS before. I think those two are correlated in some way. I'm not sure, I'd have to Google that, but there's something about um, maybe balancing of hormones or connecting more to the divine feminine energy within the self. And if you're a man, this is you honoring and respecting the feminine, connecting into that inner strength within yourself, helping to balance out something connected to the mother. Yeah, look, you're shedding this old self. Look at the old self on the ground here and this new one just completely blossoming, blooming, flourishing, taking off the mask taking off the mask, taking off the glasses, taking off the disguise and really allowing your true super self to shine through. Okay. I want to get one from the Harry Potter deck. I didn't even connect that until right now. I pre-select all the decks based on what spirit kind of guides me to. And I did use that reference from Harry Potter, which is not uncommon for me because I love <laughs> Harry Potter, but, but that's, I didn't even put those two together. So we've got personal, yeah, personal growth here. Working hard is important, but there is something that matters even more. And that is believing in yourself. We all struggle from time to time to believe in our own value and capabilities. Sometimes it's important to remind ourselves of how far we've come. Make a list of 10 accomplishments, big or small, that you've achieved in your life. Read through it the next time you're struggling to believe in yourself as a reminder of just how strong and capable you are. Strength is a huge thing here. Group number one, you are extremely strong. All right. And, and whatever this is that you're celebrating or that you are being celebrated for, in the 3D or in the non-physical, you are strong. You have come a long way and you are being acknowledged for this, even if you don't see it physically around you. You are being acknowledged for your perseverance. You're being acknowledged for your ability to overcome these obstacles, to remain positive in the face of challenges. You are being acknowledged for nurturing yourself and others. You're being, you're being, freed is actually what it feels like. I just got this energy of like freedom. You're being reborn and it's coming out of that proverbial womb space that is allowing you to kind of like stretch and move and grow. I'm seeing you evolving big time here and I'm seeing physical healing for many of you. Many of you, there's a lot of physical healing that's happening at the DNA level. So if you've struggled with any physical health issues, those are probably going to be something you're going to be celebrating overcoming as well or, or seeing some kind of remission or full recovery or regeneration of some kind like there's just major healing here okay i'm gonna get i think one more card from here flights of fancy 
The room of requirement. Oh, I love that. The room of requirement is a special room in Hogwarts that only appears when a person has great need of it. It has a different appearance depending on the situation, changing to meet the searcher's particular needs. Harry and his friends use it in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix to hold clandestine Dumbledore's army meetings. It also appears frequently as a place to hide things, and Harry eventually finds Ravenclaw's diadem one of Voldemort's horcruxes there. Imagine if you could step into the room of requirement right at this moment, what would it become for you? I think that's a really cool question, group number one. What would the requ- the room of requirement become for you? Because I feel like you are this room of requirement for other people. <laughs> like you're the nurturer, you're like the super caregiver who, you, you, whether you have kids or not, like you're giving and giving and giving to other people. You are the room of requirement. Anything that people need, you become that for them. And I think that um, a lot of this, if if done in an unboundaried way, may have led to physical health issues because there's a lack of self care, especially when we're talking about the womb space. It is it is um, an embodiment of the divine feminine of the mother archetype. And so, if you're having womb issues, this could be a direct symptom of a lack of self care or a lack of self nurturing because you become everything for everyone else but not taking care of yourself you know it's like the 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 super mom who puts everyone before herself and then runs herself ragged so it's like you can't take care of anyone else until you've taken care of yourself and i'm seeing you being celebrated maybe for prioritizing caring for yourself or caring for a group of people and learning to at the same time receive care and support as well Um, because I'm seeing like a group of people Dumbledore's army again it's like these groups of people who come together mishmash types of motley crews of individuals who come together for a particular purpose maybe it's a common goal maybe it's for work maybe it's a soul family thing or soul origin you know it's there's many different reasons why people come together but I'm seeing you being well respected in this arena in this community and being a leader it's like harry being the teacher he sort of he felt like maybe he wasn't qualified but then he does he does a really good job at teaching all these other people how to defend themselves and and protect themselves from the dark arts because he's experienced that directly does he have the quote-unquote qualifications to be a teacher no but did he do an amazing job at it because he's lived that experience yes so this is kind of what i'm seeing here is that you chronically care for other people (laughs) group number one like chronically care for other people and that's why i think that you're being celebrated here for maybe reprioritizing yourself as part of that or allowing yourself to receive the care support honoring and nurturing from a group of people whom you care for as well so letting yourself be nurtured is part of this celebration all right so let yourself be nurtured let yourself be cared for let other people shine their light on you just as much as you shine your light on them and and let yourself fully step into who you are i'm seeing a lot to do with authenticity and honoring your needs honoring your power as well you know we have be spontaneous (laughs) group number one i feel like like we have the mother here reaching to the child too i just realized that but i was going to say group number one i feel like part of this celebration is going to be you I think stepping a little bit out of your comfort zone or being it's like it's time yeah they just told me it's time it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone to get out of your own way if you've been blocking receiving and being nurtured or um maybe this is stepping into a nurturing position to take it as it resonates clear endeavor clear endeavor and the glass is here it's like clarity you're able to see something very clearly something to do with your own personal growth and how other people are honoring and respecting i just keep getting the energy of respect so people are respecting you through the this metamorphosis maybe they're they're watching you go through this look on the bottom you have clear out the old he's got the blindfold on you've got this clock here up in the corner talking about timing wisdom and seeing things beyond the physical. So I I really get this feeling of like, you've been clearing out a lot of the old stuff. Maybe it's trauma from within the womb space. Maybe it's distortions or blocks in the divine feminine. Maybe it's things in the matrilineal ancestral lineage. Maybe it's something to do with your soul blueprint, but I'm seeing so much here to do with you 
getting free, by clearing out the old and reconnecting to what brings you joy and what allows you to be your true authentic self. That's what allows you to connect with these people who are in alignment with you and where you are. I just keep getting the energy of respect. Okay, so a lot of people respect you, group number one, and they see your strength, they honor your strength, and they want to be there to support you if you have anything that you need as well. Yeah. Or even just to make you happy, (laughs) you know, like even if you don't need anything per se, it's like there's people who respect you and just want you to be happy for the sake of you being happy. Because again, I feel like this is the type of person that you are. You just want other people to be happy for the sake of being happy. And if that's not you, then there may be some blocks to remove and that's part of the metamorphosis. And then you'll be celebrating once, once that process is complete. But really, I think for most of you, you are stepping fully into your power after a period of maybe feeling less than cared for by yourself or others. And I'm seeing you really feeling stable, strong, and cared for through this. So I want to say, let yourself relax, group number one. Let yourself enjoy this process. You have done a lot of work to get here. So let people let people show up for you as much as you show up for them. You don't always have to be the room of requirement for everyone else. Let people Let people support you just as much. All right. So that's what I have for you today, group number one. I hope that this reading resonated or brought through some kind of messages for you in terms of confirmation, validation, insight, guidance, whatever it was that you needed, or at the very least, just entertainment. But ideally, these these readings are meant to help you to evolve and to become your best self. And I see that here in your reading. So thank you so much for being here, guys. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for everything that you do to support the channel, whether it is just making that like button spark subscribing to become a supporter here on the channel, watching the regular readings, even becoming a member. Thank you to the members in our community. I see you guys out there supporting other people in the comments. And I just want to give a shout out to those of you who have taken it upon yourself to spread love within this community. I freaking love you guys. (laughs) And I always look forward to our monthly live streams where we get to connect on that more direct level. So I love you guys and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye. All right. Hi, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the red bridge. So when we're talking about what you're going to be celebrating soon and you have the bridge here, I feel like you guys are going to be bridging the gap between some place that you felt like you couldn't get to and you're going to be celebrating getting to the other side of it. I'm actually seeing the bridge in New York in in, uh, Central Park. I've never been there, but I've seen it many times in movies. You know, the one it's like, it's really beautiful. It's long and it's arched like that. Um, there's, there could be something specific about New York or Central Park or something about that bridge could be relevant, but, um, basically I'm just seeing you getting from one point to the other, but let's get more information. Ooh, diamond. Maybe this is a commitment of some kind, getting to the other side, bridging the gap, merging worlds, even with somebody, maybe there's an engagement that's happening, um, The bridge can also talk about consciousness, you know, like um, elevating your consciousness or bridging the rainbow bridge, like connecting to a new timeline, a new earth, a new version of yourself. uh, And the diamond consciousness can be connected to that as well. So I'm looking at it from both 3D and 5D perspective. We have the phone. Okay. I'm getting something about an engagement. I just, I got to say that because when I'm seeing that, I'm seeing like, you know, in romance movies, when somebody like proposes to someone in a really grand sort of gesture way, and they're showing me that like on the bridge in Central Park, it's could be, it's just most probably symbolic, but there's something about this energy of like a grand gesture a proposal, and then wanting to call the friends and family to alert them to some some good news of this thing going on here. We've got the knowledge you seek. Right now, this is talking to me about um, a contract. From the 5D perspective, this could be that you're, again, you're bridging the gap into a higher level of consciousness. You're connecting more with your, your higher self, your spirit guides, and you're able to download this information or knowledge. So I'm going to look at it from both angles because I feel both of them for you, group number two. I think that there could be physical expressions or manifestations of this, but I'm definitely seeing that higher level bridge. You have the matchstick. Okay, so a new flame or a new passion could be part of this. 
and the astronaut. Yeah, I'm hearing out of this world. So you could be bridging the astral gap and connecting to your spirit guides. Sorry if you can hear thumping around upstairs. My neighbors are home. Um, yeah, there's some kind of like a, you're bridging the gap between different worlds. You're bridging the gap between dif different aspects of yourself. There's passion reignited here. Ooh, you have the snowy owl. I'm getting messages from this. It's reminding me of Hedwig, you know, like bringing you messages and you've got the phone too. So it's like, there's going to be information going back and forth. Like you want to update people on something or you're getting information. You're bridging the gap here. You have the sextant, which is about navigation. So I feel like you're getting guidance from your, your team, your higher self specifically coming through really strongly, your higher self group number two, but your spirit guides and other people in your world but I'm getting like outside of this world. Like you're getting information from outside of this world. I feel like you're bridging the gap between yourself and yourself, you know, like you're connecting more to your higher self and you're downloading more inspiration, more insight, more wisdom, more um, inspired ideas, more knowledge. Ooh, the trash bag. Trash. You're taking out the trash. Group number two. I feel like you're closing some contracts, like old commitments that don't need to be there anymore. You're getting information about those things and you're taking out the trash. And I think you're celebrating that or you, yeah, you you are, you're celebrating that balancing things out, yin and yang. This could be to do, yeah, like I said, it was something, I was getting something to do with like commitments and proposals and stuff. So I think you're getting rid of the trash from old relationship patterns within your soul blueprint. And you're bridging the connection to your higher self and, and connecting to these higher expressions of self. And it's helping to balance out the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy within you. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Okay, ooh, the prism. I was talking about rainbow bridge and now we have the rainbow moving through the prism. So, and, and the diamond, I mean, come on, like this is clarity of consciousness. You are honing and refining and cultivating clarity of your soul. And look at that. You have the braces, which talk to me about alignment. So you are spiritually aligning, spiritually aligning group number two. And this is a big thing for you. So you're being celebrated for this by your spirit guides. Your higher self is stepping more into your body and the physical world is going to reflect that. So what is it going to look like at the physical level? I feel like the, the 3D is going to show you through information that you're getting so i'm seeing a lot of synchronicities a lot of messages that you're getting you may even be getting downloads from your guides about what you need to do i'm seeing you having a new direction as well that's coming through you're going to have a new clarity on the actions you need to take to be able to achieve something so i'm i'm almost seeing this kind of like right before the celebration it's like you're just about to achieve something. You're just about to cross this bridge. It could have to do with um, relationships. Now, this could be the relationship with yourself or it could be the relationship with another person like I was seeing in, in the beginning. You have, what is this? The eight of wands. Okay, the eight of wands. And it was reversed. So I do feel like there's... Okay, <laughs> first of all, this is all about communication all about communication like you can even see the carrier pigeons and the messages and i was getting that from hedwig so i feel like you're getting a lot of spiritual information a lot of communication back and forth between yourself your guides your higher selves other people in your physical reality um the synchronicities around you the symbols everything kind of just showing you there's a lot going on here and i feel like you're going to be adventuring see how he's wearing like um like a safari outfit. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be going on an adventure or you're going to be doing something new. You're going to be navigating or plotting a course. You have the three of wands as well. So lots of wands energy. This is fire, inspiration, passion, like the matchstick energy. So I feel like you're having a new direction in what you want to do, what you're passionate about, what you want to pursue, what you want to create, um, why you're being called to create that. And planning a course of action, I'm seeing that really clearly. I'm actually just going to turn these upright because I'm kind of seeing that. Oh, look at this. You've got the lover's card. I was feeling something to do with relationships. Okay, so 
Group two, you're going to be celebrating the next level advancement in a relationship. So I'm seeing you balancing out masculine and feminine within yourself. This this is going to reflect at the physical level. So whether this is a higher level commitment with somebody you're with right now, or you're attracting in a divine counterpart who really matches this aligned energy that you've managed to cultivate within yourself, I'm seeing you celebrating at that level. I'm hearing happily ever after. And again, they showed me the scene in like a romance comedy where the two people meet on the bridge. It's like coming together or meeting in the middle, balancing out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You have the angel's trumpet with death. But I'm really seeing like the crystal and the feather here in the box being significant. It's almost like there's, uh, look at this bridge going into this other portal. It's like you're... You're, I mean, okay, when we, when we die or when we astral travel, it doesn't have to be through physical death, but it's like we, we cross that bridge, okay? I've actually seen it. I've crossed it myself. I've gone back and forth across the rainbow bridge in astral travel. So I'm seeing you again, you're bridging the gap between two different worlds, both at a metaphysical level and also I'm, I'm seeing at a physical level too. Purity. Okay, there's a lot of purification happening taking out the trash. Yeah, getting very clear so that your your energy body, your physical body are this perfect prism or clear crystal so that the light that comes through is split into these hues, the, the, the clear rainbow, so that what you're seeing is clearer. I'm seeing a lot to do with relationship healing. Purification of the inner child could be significant as well. Feel one more there. Peaceful warrior, milk thistle. Badger energy has been coming out a lot lately, and it's like black and white. So again, it's like there's some kind of a crystallization of consciousness, and I'm seeing you overcoming something that was challenging for you. Yeah, and you're getting to the other side of it. You're bridging the gap. Okay, let's get... Some more information here. What is group number two going to be celebrating? Oh, look at that. I actually, I do feel that. Oh, look, relationships. Okay, so we've got quite a few. Hold on, hold on. What is this? They're stuck together. This is a new deck. Thank you to the donor who sent this in to us. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. All right, so this is battling our fears. Okay. Okay. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Harry tries to leave the burrow to start the hunt for Voldemort's hor horcruxes on his own. Luckily, Ron finds him in time and talks him out of it, knowing that Harry will need him and Hermione to complete his quest. Harry eventually relents, accepting his friend's help and returning to the house. Sometimes the best way to handle a challenging situation is to accept your friend's help. Have your friends ever stopped you from making a hasty decision or offered help during a difficult time? Did you accept? Why or why not? Do you think things would have been different if you had made a different choice? These are really good questions to ask right now, group number two. And I'm seeing a lot to do with support from your guides. I, I'm seeing that as like your main sort of friends in this situation, but they could actually be physical friends as well that you're calling up, talking about your fears, talking about stuff to do with relationships, purifying, taking out the trash, no longer accepting less than you deserve, making decisions for your future. Yeah, I'm seeing that being very clear here. Okay, let's keep going. We have another battling our fears. Okay. Obliviate is a powerful spell used in the Harry Potter films to erase memories. If you could use Obliviate to erase any one memory from your mind, what would it be? Because that isn't an option in real life. Can you find another way to make peace with that memory. Mm. The bridge also reminds me of the two hemispheres of the brain. Again, this is left and right, masculine and feminine. And um, when we bridge the gap between the hemispheres, our thinking becomes clearer and we can actually reconnect different neural pathways and recall certain memories because there are certain memories that can be obliviated out. Usually it's through trauma, you know, really intense, fearful experiences or things that kind of get lost along the way, like from childhood. So I'm seeing you doing a lot of information recall and then cleansing and purging your mind. 
your soul, your entire self, and uh, making peace with these things by getting getting the knowledge you seek and being able to choose what you do and don't want anymore. Okay, we have now to do with relationships. Two to, okay, so two to do with battling fears and two to do with relationships. So I, I, I was getting that from the very beginning from those two cards, you know, the bridge and the diamond, and then the lovers. It, it, they're all speaking to this same message, group number two. This is balancing of relationships. Even your group number two is the energy of relationships. It's you and another and how the connection between those two is balanced or not. And again, we have the snowy owl. So the snowy owl could be a, sig a significant symbol for you or a synchronicity to pay attention to. It represents these messages coming in, the information you need, and maybe even relationship in itself as well, because Harry and Hedwig were best friends in that way, you know? Oh, I hated when Hedwig died. Why did they have to kill her off? Okay, so anyway, we have Peter Pettigrew betrayed Harry's parents, Lily and James Potter, to Lord Voldemort, leading to their deaths. Even so, when given the choice in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry insists Pettigrew be allowed to live. Have you ever experienced great betrayal? Were you able to forgive the person who was disloyal to you? I think this is part of the trash that you're taking out, group number two, and this is why you're being celebrated for this and you're going to achieve something that is more stable and more long-lasting and of high value is because you're able to take out the trash of past betrayals where you were not nurtured or, you know, like the, the energy here in the peaceful warrior of the mother, it's like where you were not nurtured or where you were not cared for by people, where you were not loved in the way that you needed. And you maybe felt like you needed to put on this space suit to protect you from these relationships that were harmful and dealing with those fears inside yourself. But I'm seeing, first of all, the badger is tenacious. The badger doesn't give up. Second of all, I'm seeing you being able to be peaceful in this approach. So you're not fighting against it you are allowing it to transform, going through this death process. Okay, um, now let's look at the last one here. It's again, yeah, relationships. Professor Dumbledore is Harry's mentor through the first six films of the series. He guides Harry through many difficulties and ultimately sets him on his path toward defeating Voldemort. But Dumbledore has his own challenges. In the final two films, Harry learns that the kindly headmaster hid a great many secrets, including his own tragic past and the truth of Harry's role in the defeat of Lord Voldemort. Harry's faith in his mentor is deeply tested by these relationships. Re oh, I, I meant to say revelations, but it came out of my mouth as relationships. You've been tested by relationships, group number two. But he ultimately decides to continue along the path Dumbledore set out for him, albeit with a more complex understanding of the man who taught him so much. Think about the people who have mentored you in your life, group number two. What was it about those people that helped you have confidence in them? Were they able to live up to your trust? So again, we have relationship themes about trust, overcoming maybe trust issues, past betrayals or fears around people not living up to your expectations or being what you need them to be. I'm seeing you refining and purifying these things from within childhood. You know, it's like being, have, like it could have been relationship with a parent or early childhood um, dynamics with other people. This could even be like bl the first love type of relationship where you, you know, you started out um, having this concept of love being a certain way and then it was proved otherwise. Maybe you were cheated on, maybe you were backstabbed, something like that. And I'm, I'm seeing you getting a lot of communication here from within yourself and maybe even from outside of you, but it's really coming from within because it's, you know, it's just a reflection of what's going on on the inside that you're alchemizing. And I'm seeing you being able to purify some of these old pains in regard to relationship and overcome those things. Let's get more info from the Nature's Whispers deck. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of purification here. Open your heart. Yes, you see, you're healing, you're overcoming relationship pains of the past, you're opening your heart, and you're deeply connecting with the people in your life who are meant to be there and who are not going to be bad examples. They're going to be good examples of the clarity that you've been able to achieve within yourself. And it's like you're able to take off, they just showed me the spaceman taking off his helmet. It's like you're able to, you're able to be vulnerable, but like in a good way, 
in the sense that you're able to take off this suit that kept you separate from everyone else or at a distance and actually allows you to connect and converse and bridge the gap. Perfect setting. Okay, we have number nine in this card and I noticed that this one was number 10. So nine and 10, progression, endings, closure, that's death energy as well. It's like you're closing out a cycle. And I'm seeing you being placed in the perfect setting the perfect setting to open your heart you know it's like the right people at the right time or you're just feeling more connected to yourself and your guides your 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 connection with yourself will directly reflect in your connection with other people like if you are disconnected from yourself if you have parts of yourself that have been repressed that have been shamed into non-existence that have been cut off from you or that you fear this is going to manifest as dysfunctional relationships on the outside so group number two i'm seeing you being able to harmonize the inside relationship with yourself by healing these fears of the past by undoing those lessons by deconditioning yourself from the trauma or from those fears that took root in the mind and you're taking out that trash you're you're connecting to the knowledge that you actually seek you're getting a lot of guidance on this and you may even be seeing a lot of people coming forward or connecting with you in new ways if you're already in a relationship this is you being able to communicate with your partner and plan for the future together i'm really seeing you coming together towards this common goal of mutual harmony and care and that involves self-care as well this could be ascending to a higher level of commitment if you're already married it's maybe you're renewing your vows or maybe you're really just kind of taking it to the next level in your ability to almost like merging at the soul level but it's not like you're becoming each other, but you're, you're just really understanding each other at this deeper level and connecting and having that intimacy and that bonding. Um, if you're single, I see you attracting a lot of attention or communication from people, or maybe you're setting your sights on something that you want. But I do see a lot of people that are going to be manifesting to you. That's the word spirit just gave me. They're going to be manifesting to you as you open your heart and you close out these patterns of the past, as you let things go and you let them die and you evolve into this next level of commitment to yourself and the relationship therein, you are going to see that manifest externally. And there's going to be suitors that are aligned for you and who you can bond with in a healthy way, not trauma bonding, but like healthy bonding through boundaries and intimacy, and being able to have this flame of passion relit within you, whatever your circumstances happen to be. So this is definitely something to celebrate, group number two. This is like a next level advancement in your connection and relationships to people, specifically in love. But this really translates across the board because it stems from the relationship with yourself, which is neither romantic nor platonic it just kind of is and then that ripples out into every other relationship area family friends partners everything literally everything even your relationship to nature i just heard a bird calling outside so again listen to those little birdies pay attention to the wisdom that's coming in through communication in one way shape or form and bridge that gap group number two you are being celebrated for this and you are going to celebrate your success in this area of your life. So that is what I have for you today, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the reading and that something resonated with you. Just remember that these are general readings for large groups of people. So just take what feels like it is for you and leave all of the rest. If it's not for you, don't try to force it or make it fit. It's probably just for someone else. And if this didn't resonate, feel free to check out one of the other groups or one of my other readings. There's many, many to choose from. Use your intuition to guide you. I don't know why I just felt called to mention that. I feel like maybe there's people in this group who this didn't resonate with, which is not normally something that I feel called to talk about <laughs> explicitly. So if there's like one or two people here that was like, oh, that really wasn't for me. First of all, why did you keep watching? But second of all, um, go check out other things anyways <laughs> thank you guys all of you for being here i love and appreciate you and we'll see you in the next reading bye all right hi group number three welcome to your reading you chose the barrel this is an interesting card from my synchronicities oracle deck it can mean a lot of different things i didn't put meanings for these cards but for me right now what i'm getting for you group three is that you're going to have a barrel of laughs okay like there's something that's uncorking or being um 
opened in your life, they're showing me uh, a couple of different things. First thing that they showed me was a barrel of laughs. The second thing they showed me was a barrel of monkeys, which is like a game where you kind of had to like connect the monkeys and get them all out of the barrel. Um, the third thing they showed me was a barrel in a vineyard. So it's like a, a nice oak cask filled with, I don't know, some kind of Merlot or Chardonnay, whatever, what, whatever wines they oak. I don't know. I'm not a wino, but there's something about, um, it's like, it's like being brought out of the thing, right? It's like if there, if something was barreled up or like kind of, it was held in place for a long period of time, it's being opened and it's being, it's ready. It's like, it's well aged. It's ready to enjoy now. It's done this process of fermentation or it's ready to come out of the barrel. Yeah. So there's something about, maybe it's like you've done something that took a long time and it's finally being ready. Cause I keep seeing the example of the, um, the wine in the cask. It's like, it's, it's, perfectly aged now it's ready to be bottled it's ready to be enjoyed and it's like that first celebratory bottle that you cork or that you uncork and, and you you have with friends kind of giving me like three of cups energy okay you have the soap <laughs> the soap let me just see what else you have you've got the the email notification hmm and the snake. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting reading group number three. What is going on here? You have the sage. All right. So look, there's something that needs to be cleared, group number three. And um, yeah, there's there's something in your energetic field that needs to be cleansed out. Or maybe this is what you've been working on, right? It's like this is something that's been going on behind the scenes. It's like there was this process of fermentation happening inside the barrel where nobody could see what was going on. Maybe you you have been doing a lot of work lately on transmutation or alchemy or energetic cleansing or clearing, getting rid of addictions or temptations even could be part of this. But it's like there's something that you've been cleaning up in your life. And I think that this is this is what you've been celebrating. Could even have to do with your psychic abilities. Look, you got the crystal ball crystal ball, right? So it's it's like something spiritual that you've been working on clearing. And I'm seeing you celebrating and rejoicing is actually the word I just got. Okay. You're rejoicing at soul level because you've been able to clear something that may have taken a really long time to do. And now it's like there's this humor coming back where things were maybe super serious for a long time because you were dealing with psychic attacks or you were dealing with physical issues or you were just having a hard time or you were overwhelmed. I'm seeing it's finally time now to enjoy because you, you did all this hard work and there does need to be balance to that. Okay, we have social media. Apps could be significant here. I heard applying for something. For some of you, you could be applying for something and getting something back from it. You could be celebrating getting a grant or a loan. For some of you, that's very specific. That just came through though, so I do have to mention it. And cleaning up your financial um, arena. I did just also get a message about cleaning out your inbox. For some of you, if you have like a million notifications on your, <laughs> on your, your email app, Spirit wants you to go through that and clean that out because it's symbolic. Um, yeah, squeaky clean is what I'm hearing. You, like cleaning up your your phones, deleting apps that you don't need. Again, this is all symbolic of like getting rid of things in your life that you don't need. It's a it's an it's a technological cleanse, but it's also a psychological one because it's all connected. <laughs> it's like the you know how they say the home is a reflection of your mental state or your mind. It's the same thing with your phone. <laughs> a lot of us live on our phones nowadays. Um, it's not always the case, but there's something here that you are clearing and cleaning up. The butterfly. This is leading to transformation. I'm also being told that you're being led, you're being guided. You're receiving messages from uh spirit animals could be significant or spirit guides that show you specific insects, birds, things like that. But butterflies are really common in, in regard to crossed over loved ones specifically. And my throat almost just tightened up when I said that. So this could be a very significant crossed over loved one that you have. Group three, who is celebrating you. They are celebrating you for some kind of achievement 
that they've seen you make and they are going to be sending you messages as well about what you need to do this could even be part of it like this reading could be part of the messages that they send to you letting you know to do some psychic clearing to connect psychically to cleanse your physical space your energy body your physical items you know like again clearing out your phone clearing out your home um unboxing things you know seeing what's inside looking at the contents of something because you're going to be able to organize it like the barrel of monkeys they're all jammed in there together but you're able to organize it and see it in a more linear fashion and then through that you're able to release something or it's going to be more fun for you got the 3d glasses okay so i'm getting that there may have there may have been like temptation to see the 3d world as the be all end all you know like the physical things that you're struggling with what the reality is mirroring back to you that was the temptation that's the snake energy temptation and can even be about like poisons things that we don't want or need in our lives that are not good for us and the 3d glasses can talk about like you're you're only seeing things from that 3d perspective and you kind of need to take those off to see through the the inner eye the 5d and up you know like 4d 4d is the mental realm clearing out your mental space the astral realm and then 5d is getting into the heart space and then you shoot up from there into the infinite dimensions of, of non-space and non-time so i'm seeing you being able to connect to this or un like it's like a whole barrel of monkeys <laughs> that you're able to connect to by looking inward You've been getting guidance on this group three. I can see that clearly. Like you've been getting a lot of guidance on this and the tea is ready. Like the wine is ready. The, the tea is ready. You are ready. For some of you, this could be psychic activations. Yeah, I'm seeing that very clearly. Like being able to divine. Crystal balls remind me of divination. That's a form of scrying. Tea also reminds me of divination. You know, it's like Professor Trelawney up in her tower with the teacups teaching about tea readings. This is this is kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's like you've been getting guidance to remove the 3D glasses to upgrade your mental space. The apps can also talk about like new new downloads that you're receiving in the mental realm and you've had to do a lot of clearing and purging and releasing to be able to receive these new upgrades, new downloads, new new like updates on your phone, but it's not on your phone. It's like your uh, spiritual hardware <laughs> or software, I should say. Well, both actually. Alchemy, um, you've been mixing up the potion, you guys, like, I'm seeing you, ooh, they just showed me Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he drank the potion, then he turns, he, he, like, distorts himself, okay, so I see you having dealt with fears, you're being celebrated for dealing with some pretty significant fears and, like, schisms in the self, psychically, whoa, okay, so this is big stuff, group number three, and spirit is clapping they're commemorating they said something about commemoration all right and you're yeah you're being celebrated for this process of fermentation they keep bringing me back to that it's like it took a long time for you to mature in this way um but psychically you've matured spiritually you've you've matured maybe even you know like at the physical level uh you've you've mentally emotionally you've changed your life, you've you've reoriented your physical space, all of these things I'm seeing. It's like you've matured in many different areas and you're being celebrated for that. You have the candle flame, specifically the flame can talk about heating something up. I'm seeing that here and illumination. So I'm seeing you getting clarity. It's like this Bunsen, it's like a Bunsen burner underneath <laughs> this little, you know, beaker. It, it's, it's, it's cooking something up. It's an alchemy process. It's um, yeah, taking one thing and turning it into something else, like grapes into wine and this potion of yourself being alchemized or the tea being steeped and it's ready to serve. Wow. Group number three. This is big stuff. This is really big stuff. You have the, the house on fire. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm seeing cleansing your house. Again, they're talking about like cleaning up your space because it's like this is a big up level this is a really big psychic up level, up level group number three so you might need to do some pretty big overhauls here in regard to your physical space because again that's first of all it's symbolic but second of all it's also um a direct reflection energetically 
of your inner space within you. So I'm seeing you significantly up leveling, upgrading, and getting a lot of information. You've got the ink and quill. This is actually a synchronicity that I've been seeing. Spirit showed me this yesterday and the day before, and today actually, earlier today. Yeah, I did see a quill today, right before this reading. Okay, so look, group three, this is this is divine information that you're receiving. And it's old information too. So it's like not not old in a bad way. It's like this is um updates that you're getting from the past. <laughs> so it's like information you needed from the past to step into an upgraded version of you. Infinity. You're connecting to the infinite. You're definitely stepping up and ascending your your frequency and your vibration. And you have done a lot of cleanup work here. A lot of cleanup work. And and if you if you haven't, they're definitely recommending it. But you're getting the golden thumbs up from the universe. They're saying, look, you've done a lot of really good work here. So you're being you're being acknowledged. Look on the bottom, you have um, the champagne glass, which is literally one of the images I used, and I think it was right next to the barrel card on the cover image. Yes, it was. Okay, so this is this is again confirmation for you. I saw eleven forty four on the recording time, group number three, that you have significantly up leveled. You have the green heart as well. So yeah, this is this is spiritual advancement for you. But let's get more information on what what this is that you're being celebrated for how this is going to show up you have matri matrigynia i don't know if i'm mitrigynia i don't know how to say that shape shifting you are shape shifting you, you have the dragonfly here standing out to me feels like a massive spiritual transformation you've been going through again dragonflies and butterflies they're both this energy of significant transformation so i i feel like you're being celebrated for this massive up level in your psychic awareness if you are in the divination arts like if you do this already you are upgrading significantly and you're getting some big downloads like big packets of quantum downloads through the crown chakra that you are alchemizing into some kind of a massive up level in your life i'm seeing that like you might even be moving homes or you might be writing a book or you might be like um connecting with the right people at the right time like that barrel of monkeys right it's like you're you're maybe even like helping or uplifting other people helping others to get out of distortions of the 3d helping other people to see the bigger picture this is big stillness skull cap look at the the face split in half there and the the hourglasses are standing out to me the bones and the scorpion this has been a lot of transmutation of self this has been massive transmutation of self, group number two, three, sorry, group number three. And Scorpio season could be significant. Something could have catalyzed around there or could show up around Scorpio season. I think that is November, October. Yeah. Um, the splitting of the self, I feel like you're coming back together with yourself and that's what's facilitating this massive up level in consciousness. Yeah. Psychic healing. Look at that confirmation. Psychic healing. That's what I was getting from the soap and the like well really all this entire top row is all talking about psychic healing so you are shifting big time big time group number three doing a lot of psychic healing identity work personal growth okay we have these two cards we're going to read those out Oh, this one's talking about um, the sorting, the sorting, like the, the sorting ceremony. So on their first night at Hogwarts, first year students are sorted into one of four houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Sly Slytherin. Each house embodies different qualities. Gryffindors are renowned for their courage and determination, Ravenclaws for their wit and wisdom, Hufflepuffs for their patience and loyalty, and Slytherins for their pride and ambition if you could attend hogwarts which house do you think you would belong to and why group number three i feel like you're getting um very clear on who you are at soul level and and it's like you're being sorted or you're you're getting this like entrance into the magical world <laughs> within you you know it's like i even use that harry potter reference to professor trelawney and she she was a teacher at hogwarts so it's like maybe you're stepping into a teacher role maybe you are already in that maybe you're 
stepping into that student role and you're up leveling your psychic awareness maybe you're learning something new and you'll be celebrating the graduation of that or you're taking an examination in some kind of a, a psychic lesson test or even some kind of a course or curriculum right it can it can be at the 3d level too right like you might be learning um a particular modality or branch of spiritual healing or psychic healing work Reiki healing, quantum healing, psychic healing, psychotherapy even could be part of this, shamanism, um, astrology, even astronomy, who knows? Um, but there's there's something, something here that you've been learning and you've been integrating and you've been upgrading. What house are you in, <laughs> group number three? I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I'm a Ravenclaw who probably would have ended up in Gryffindor. I'm like Hermione. <laughs> Like I should be in Ravenclaw, but I'm probably in Gryffindor because I've been through some shit. Um, personal growth. I don't belong here. I belong in your world at Hogwarts. Yes, you do. Group number three, you're a magical being. This is the celebration. Is that you've matured into like a full-fledged, yeah, uh, like it's almost like you're getting your letter to Hogwarts or you're graduating from Hogwarts. It's like you've You've completed some kind of a cycle in your spiritual development. That's really what I see here. So it says, Harry Potter spent the first 11 years of his life with the Dursleys at number four Privet Drive. Though he must return there for the summer holidays, he never considers this to be his true home. His true home is Hogwarts. Where is your true home, group number three? Has this changed as you've gotten older? What is it about this place that makes it so special to you? Look, at you have the home the home on fire too, which is kind of like finding, getting out of a false home and getting into your true home. And it can be symbolic of the internal process you're going through, or this can be literal and it can be about moving physically. Because again, if the physical environment doesn't reflect the growth and maturation at the spiritual level, there's going to need to be a, a change because the inside will reflect outwardly. So I'm seeing you shifting or moving 3D spaces Maybe you're getting information or you're divining something about this as well. Like you could be doing a reading for yourself or tuning into your spirit guides and getting some information about where you're meant to go or what you're meant to do next. Wow, infinite blessings. Infinite blessings. Number 11 and also 17. I was seeing 11 here, 11 years old. Maybe you've been doing something for 11 years. Um, but the, the number 17 is also standing out to me. Those can just be activation codes as well, but you're receiving infinite blessings. <gasps> I love this. Group number three, you're receiving infinite blessings for the work that you've put in. I feel like you are getting out of a stuck situation. And look, you have the infinity sign, infinite, infinite. You're connecting to the infiniteness within you. And it's unlocking infinite blessings in the 3D, in the physical. I'm seeing upgrades, like upgrades and upgrades and upgrades being in service. This could be even about you offering things to others because you've done so much psychic work, because you are a mature or a mature -er soul. It's like I was saying something about teaching. You may be called into the teaching arts and so teaching divination or providing information to others. Like you're the messenger. You got that little message notification thing. So you are here to open up this barrel for other people maybe to help other people to mature, you know, like the teachers at Hogwarts help the students to mature and step into their most powerful magical selves. I feel like this could be something that you're doing. I keep getting something about writing. You could be writing something and maybe you're traveling to a different place so that you have the space that is conducive to you producing this work or this information or channeling this out. But I'm, I'm seeing you really truly being, I'm, I'm seeing like actual physical popping of champagne bottles it's like you are probably going to actually go out and buy a champagne bottle and and celebrate either with yourself or with your spirit team or with um your family or friends or whatever because you have achieved something here i'm seeing you manifesting a home for those of you who are looking for a new home or who are um if you've been thinking about moving this could be confirmation that you're going to find the place that is exactly right for you at exactly the right time too. And a lot of it is because you're able to get still and do this transmutative work from within, do this psychic healing so that you can see very clearly. So you, you kind of like you see three steps or t even 10 steps ahead at every given point. And so there's no need to worry because you're being guided through it all. 
and you know that you're magical and you can rely on that. I feel like I'm, I'm, I want to get a couple of um, cards from this deck. This is a tarot deck. And it's a, a deck about adventuring too. So I feel like you might be, yeah, you're like adventuring into new things. We have the page of pentacles. Look, at I, I was mentioning something about like exams and graduation and he's got his little grad cap and his scroll. I feel like you guys are graduating here on some spiritual level of development. Like you're achieving... I'm hearing new status, okay? So like new status at soul level, right? Where maybe before you were a journeyman and now you're going into, um, what is it? Uh, no, like it, it, you're stepping from one class to the next, you know, like one level of self to the next. The sun card. Clarity, growth, warmth, fun, play. Like so much love and support I'm seeing here. I see you shining light for other people, like being of service. You are the sun and you've learned enough to be able to, to share this in some way. Some of you may even be starting social media stuff. I just noticed, we, you know, like I kind of put together the apps, the notifications and the thumbs up thing. Maybe you're thinking about starting um, a YouTube channel. Or maybe you have one and you're going to be celebrating a milestone in that, especially if it's something to do with divination, but it doesn't have to be, but uh, like maybe you're a reader like me and there's going to be something that you're celebrating there because there's a, there's a level of development that you've achieved. And even if you're still at sort of the beginning stages of that, you're, you're seeing the progress happen now and you're shining the light. The light is shining into your life. Look at the sun here and the way the sun's beaming down. Yeah, and you're being able to be of service, shedding light into the darkness for people. And they really need it. Look at this. You have the Ten of Swords. People really need it. I'm seeing this is this is like the psychic healing work that you've done as well. Yeah, it's an achievement of psychic healing. I, I, I really just, I keep seeing that message repeated here. You're recovering from psychic attacks. You're recovering from psychic distortions. You're unlocking infinite blessings because you were able to alchemize a lot of these mental or uh, spiritual issues that were going on behind the scenes. You're putting yourself back together, doing a lot of healing work, a lot of healing work. And through that, you're finding your place. You're finding your magic. You're, you're expressing what is true for you and you're helping people to do that as well. You, you, I, I just keep getting this energy of teacher group three. So if you're not a teacher, if you've been in the student role, this could be you celebrating ascending to a teacher level position in whatever it is that you're skilled at. And if you are already a teacher, I'm seeing you celebrating achievements of your students. It's like you've been able to help them to get to the next level and you're celebrating that. And you're also ascending at the same time. So it's like you step up, they step up as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Either way, big advancements in your life, maturation, and the, the fruits of your labors, right? Like the, the, the wine, the, the grapes into wine, like you, you really had to crush those grapes down to make that wine. You had to, you had to put in a lot of effort and wait a long time for that process to occur, but you've finally done it. It's ready. And it's like the best year, you know, it's like vintage circa this 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 whatever and that wine is now perfectly aged and it's like the best batch that you've ever made group number three so that's definitely worth celebrating go pop yourself a bottle of champagne to celebrate this achievement and this win you will feel it if you're already there go get yourself one because again it's symbolic it's important you celebrate yourself physically so go get yourself some champagne and uncork it and recognize how far you've come group number three because you really have and spirit is is congratulating you on that all right guys that is what i have for you today group number three thank you so much for being here in the reading i hope that it resonated with you and brought you some confirmation some insight or clarity or just really anything that you needed take what resonates leave the rest i appreciate all of your guys's support here on the channel in the various ways that you do you can just simply make that like button sparkle make it light up stick around for more readings if you haven't subscribed you, you know what to do <laughs> by now everybody knows what to do i don't need to tell you um and if you guys are looking to support me and my work here on the channel more directly you can become a member which gives you access to the members only side of the community where we do weekly members only readings and monthly live streams where the members get personal readings and healings from me more directly 
And if you also are looking to support the channel and get something for yourself as well, we have the Synchronicities Oracle deck, which is this deck that I was using before. That's my first ever Oracle deck, which I'm self-publishing. The link to pre-order is in the description box below this video. Um, we're hoping to get shipments out shipments out by June. So if you'd like to support the inception of this deck, I appreciate you deeply and I hope you enjoy the messages that it has to bring you. I love you guys so, so much and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye.